supposed to keep it a secret, Charlie? One weekend, one secret. I tried. I was tricked. Your mother hoodwinked me. You were supposed to be the one hoodwinking her. Well, I'm sorry. I'm just not a hoodwinker, okay? In fact, I don't even know if I'm using that word correctly. This is a disaster. It was a bad plan. It was never going to work to begin with. Yes, it totally would have worked. And why haven't you gotten dressed? We have like 30 minutes. Are, I didn't... Are we still on that schedule? Yes! Well, this is a comedy of errors, of cultural misunderstandings, of clashes between generations. Uh, all the elements that make a good comedy about marriage, as if those two don't go together naturally. I particularly liked the um, role played by the mother, who uh, <laughs> really takes up the, 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 at, uh, the screen and giving a motive force for all the action that uh, ensues. I felt that the film Our Goddamn Wedding did a great job of sustaining the suspense for the viewer around the mystery of what issue had occurred between the groom and the bride and what the issue with the groom was. And I thought that the film also developed its characters well and quickly established each of their distinct personalities as well as their contribution to the storyline. I think that once we did find out that the groom was an atheist, from there the film continued to surprise me. And because it really sort of drove home the extremity of, of how horrible it was for this family that, that their daughter could possibly be marrying an atheist. And I think the details of how they treated that were what made this film so comedically successful. I liked how they kind of hid what the big secret was behind the husband or the fiance um, more towards the end of the film. So, you know, I'm thinking of all these salacious things that he could have done or been in order to freak the mother out in such an intense way when actually he was just an atheist. Um, there was a lot of drama and it just had like a lot of elements that were packed into a short film and I thought it, it did a really great job with everything. Such chaotic energy and I was all the way there for it. Uh, <laughs> it reminds me of how I feel about certain movies like uh, Shawshank or Forrest Gump where there's just a string of things that are just happening and at some point you don't even question you just want to go along for the ride and you want to see what happens next um just every line that uh connected and just all the characters had a lot of very good chemistry with one another um i loved how the groom was very nonchalant laid back he was a very good straight man in this world of insanity uh which made the punchline at the end all the more funny where he just like looks up not realizing how badly he fucked up. Um, but all in all, this one was very funny. It is an interesting setup of a truly feasible and relatable situation. And then we have this rendition of God Only Knows from the Beach Boys, just complementing the whole thing. It was an interesting pick for a song given the topic they touch on during the film and how the different situations evolve. Uh, it was just very funny. I really, I think this is a, quite a sensible topic and they did it comedically, which is outstanding. Just full of uh, good naturalistic humor, uh, nothing really too forced. It all felt really uh, authentic, um, grounded in a way that, you know, you believe people could speak. And um, it was all played so well, great uh, back and forth between the, the characters. Um, you know, even you know, turning some things on their ear or uh, one character, I believe Charlie is uh, sort of consoling the priest. I mean, it's all really clever, smartly written and really uh, strong performances. The dialogue in the film is a lot of fun, lots of witty banter. The pace is great, and I enjoyed the pre-wedding jitters that the characters are going through. Great setting of a gorgeous house. 
The wardrobe is excellent too, all the way from fancy bridal to a t-shirt. It was really nice that they were able to do this whole, you know, a story about family and conflict and then, you know, wedding and and um, a religious debate and have it all just take place in one location with a few um, actors. And we, uh, you know, with that, we got the whole scope of the whole thing. And uh, it was executed well and uh, edited and uh, paced well. And everybody did a great job. Mm -hmm. 